ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Nikos is a mechanical engineering freshman in UP Diliman. His hobbies are playing games and a few sports. He also likes to read novels and manga. Pau is a fourth-year theater arts student in UP Diliman, majoring in directing and dramaturgy. She likes to deliver dramatic monologues in her house's comfort room. Aya, on the other hand, is a student at UP Diliman taking up BA Theater Arts. She's also a student assistant at the Cal Library. She likes matcha, chicken joy, and potato corner. I hope they become our sponsors oh, soon. <laughs> Philip is a student of UP Diliman taking electronics and communications engineering. He was a taekwondo player but now ventures to the field of flag football. Dumadami ang flag football. Bangat na siya. Uh -huh. so, far. so these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. Up next, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, also from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Correct answers are 10 points each. Let's begin. This is round one. Let's begin. Question number one. In science, what do you call the study of animals? Aya. Zoology. Zoology or zoology is correct. K check. Question number two. On what island in the Philippines can you find Roja City, Aklan, and Iloilo? Pau. Visayas Island. Visayas Island is Malay. Anyone can steal? The island is Panay. That's the correct answer. Question number three. Ivanka is the daughter and Melania is the wife of which former U.S. President? Nikos. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is correct. K-check. Question number four. What hit song by the K-pop group 5050 has a lit has a title that is the name of the Roman god of love? Okay, the correct answer is Cupid. Question number five. What common Latin honor is one notch higher than magna cum laude? Nikos. Summa cum laude. Summa cum laude is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What is the predominant language in Mexico, Argentina, and Peru? Aya. Latin. Latin is Malay. Nico. Spanish. Spanish is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Which 2023 top 10 hit song by Tate McRae has a one-word title that means showing an intense and selfish desire for something, especially wealth or power? The correct answer is greedy. Question number eight. In what country can you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Nico. Italy. Italy is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. 
which former Philippine president was born in San Juan but grew up in Lubao, Pampanga? Nico. Diosdado Makabagal. Diosdado Makabagal is mali. Aya. Joseph Estrada. Joseph Estrada is mali. Anyone can steal? Pao. Manuel L. Quezon. Manuel L. Quezon is mali. Philip? Gloria Makabagal Arroyo. Gloria Makabagal Arroyo is correct. K-check. So, yun yung anak, yung daddy, di ba? Yung sinabi yung gustado. Okay, question number 10. In elementary math, what fraction is 6-8 in lowest terms? Nikos. 3 fourths. 3 fourths is correct. Okay, check. Number 11. In constellations as well as horoscopes, what animal is represented by Aries? Correct answer is Ram. Final question for this round. Number 12. What active volcano in Batangas erupted in January 2020? Nikos. Uh, Taal Volcano. Taal or Taal Volcano is correct. Okay, check. And that ends our round number one. Thank you very much, Jules. After that round, we have our engineering student, Nikos, in the lead, followed by Aya and Philip with 10 points each, and Pao with a lot of catching up to do. Just a little, not naman a lot. <laughs> okay, kausapin muna natin mga contestants natin para mawala yung kaba nila. Okay, so kay Pao muna, kay Pao. Talaga bang nakakatulong sa pag-aaral mo yung pagmumunulog sa banyo? Yes, I think po. Kasi ano? doon ako nag-release kapag stressful yung day. Like, doon ka kinakausap yung mga hindi ka makausap within the stressful day. Yeah. Portal pala siya. Yes, correct. <laughs> Baka pwede namang sample. Sample nga. Hala. Sample ng stress relief para <laughs> sa atin lahat. Kanyang ka na sa CR ka ngayon. Kanyang ka na sa CR po ako. Gawin niya nga. Oh, sige, go. <laughs> Makakapuntos din ako. <laughs> Yun na siya. One liner Hi. lang. Manifest. Acting yan, acting. Maraming salamat, Pao, na napakadali mo naman palang ma-encourage na magpasampon. So maghanda na yung iba. Si Nikos naman ay mahilig sa games and a few sports. Nakaka-entry, kaling sports ba naman yan? Tsaka nagbabasa daw siya ng manga yung sa likod nagsisimula yung kwento. I play basketball tsaka flag football. Nag-alaro nga kami ni Philip ng Sun. At sa manga naman, nakuha ko lang siya ngayong pandemic at nagtuloy-tuloy na. Pang-abat na siya. Kasi nagpa-flag din si Philip, di ba? Tama ba? So magkakilala naman kayo. No. Okay. So makakabuo na ng team ang K-Check. Malapit na. <laughs> Ilan ba ang members of a flag football team? Usually po, five po kapag yung starting five. Tapos atin po, 15 po yung usual. 15? Marami Siguro pala. by the fourth season of K-Check, <laughs> makakaabuo na tayo ng flag football team. May jersey pa. Oh, may jersey. <laughs> well, we would love to hear more, pero kailangan na nating balikan ang ating competition at ang round two. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo sa ating points. Leading si Nikos with 60 points. Followed by Aya and Philip at 10 points. And si Pao, hahabol sa ating next round. Well, bumaling naman tayo ngayon dito sa isa sa pinaka nakakagutom na bio na narinig natin. Aya, yun lang ba ang kinakain mo? At nakakatulong kaya yan sa brain power mo? Yes po, comfort food po sila. So kapag stressed po ako, sila po yung main choices. <laughs> wow, okay, gagawin din natin yan. Okay. <laughs> Mamaya. Okay, so mula sa usaping pagkain, ito naman si Philip. Okay, si Philip na nahihilig din sa flag football. 
at the expense ba of Taekwondo? Tuluyan mo na ba itong i-give up kung papapiliin ka? Uh, I believe so po. Uh, yung puso ko po, uh, nasa Taekwondo talaga. Pero mas leaning po ako sa mag-explore sa bagong sports. Ang choices ng puso ko talaga. Uh -huh. Kung minsan, mahirap talaga pumili. Ano? <laughs> Okay. Ang lalim na. Ang lalim yun. <laughs> so, and now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. What is the name of the animated talking cat who had a 2011 film of his own as well as the sequel subtitled The Last Wish, where he was voiced by no less than Antonio Banderas. Nikos. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. In the game of chess, how many bishops are there on the board at the start of the game? Philip. Two. The answer is wrong. Nikos. Four bishops. Four bishops is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. In anatomy, what is the name of the joint connecting the thigh and the lower leg in humans? Philip. Knee. Knee is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. One of the most popular dogs in cartoons is a beagle from the comic strip Peanuts. What is the name of this dog who is the pet of Charlie Brown? Nikos? Snoopy. Snoopy, my favorite, is the correct answer. Question number five. The most populous city in Mindanao can be found at the foot of Mount Apo. What is this city, which is also called the Durian Capital of the Philippines? Anong makain ng durian sa inyo? Ke Aurora, walang kumakain ng durian sa kanila. The correct answer is Davao City. Question number seven. In sports, soccer is another name for what popular ball game? Nikos. Football. Football is the correct answer, K check. Question number eight. In 2023, temperatures reaching 54 degrees Celsius were recorded in this national park in California, USA. What is the name of this low-lying park which once held the record for the highest temperature on Earth? Nikos. Yellowstone. The answer is wrong. Appropriately named, the correct answer is Death Valley. Question number 10. What term describes the process by which characteristics are given from a parent to their child through the genes? In it. DNA. The answer is wrong. Nikos. Genotype? Genotype is wrong. The correct answer is heredity. Question number 11. The conclusion of a peace agreement with the Moro Islamic Liberation Front in October 2012 was one of the noticed accomplishments of which Philippine president? Aya. Noy Noy Aquino. The correct answer is Benigno Noy Noy Aquino. The single, As It Was, finished number two to Glass Animals Heat Waves on top of the year-end Hot 100 chart for 2022. Which member of One Direction? Nikos? Harry Styles. Harry Styles is the member of One Direction who recorded as it was. The answer is correct, K. Chen. A last question. In Japanese cuisine, kakagutom na naman, what type of food is udon? 
Nikos. Is that a type of noodle? Udon is a noodle. The answer is correct, Keiche. And that's it for our second round. So now let's do a recap of their scores. Leading is Nikos with 160 points, followed by Aya with 30 points, Philip with 10 points, and Pao with a round ka pa para humabot. <laughs> Pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban, ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. At this point in time, we have Nikos leading with 160 points, Aya with 30 points, Philip with 10, and Pau with a lot of catching up to do. Pero meron pa po tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. That's right. Dito po, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's go for those points and for the win. But remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Let's begin. For the pagalingan round, Professor Mitzi. First question is, what is the famous female portrait painting made by the High Renaissance Italian painter Leonardo da Vinci? Pao. Mona Lisa. The answer is correct. This is a half-length portrait painting done in oil and considered an archetypal masterpiece of the Italian Renaissance. It has been described as the best known, the most visited, the most written about, the most sung about, and the most parodied work of art in the world. Okay, check. Prof. Freaky? For biology, tayo, huh? what is the term for the process by which organisms' DNA is copied to produce an identical strand of RNA? A. Translation. B. Replication C. Transcription D. Recombination and E. Transpiration Philip B. Replication Mali Anyone can steal? Nikos A. Translation Mali Aya Transpiration. Mali. Pao, isa na lang. Pao. D, recombination. Mali. Transcription is the process of copying DNA into RNA, which serves as a template for protein synthesis. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, transcription. Everybody knew that. <laughs> Prof. Lu. Philippine history naman tayo. Who is the female hero, also known as the mother of Biak na Bato? Letter A, Gregoria de Jesus. Letter B, Melchora Aquino. Letter C, Josefa Rizal. Letter D, Marina Dizon. Letter E, Trinidad Texon. Nikos. A, Gregoria de Jesus. That's incorrect. For the steal, anyone? The correct answer is letter E, Trinidad Texon. Professor Mitzi, back to you. What is the alias of Francisco Harabas, the comic character created by Romualdez Ramos and illustrator Tony Vasquez in 1929? That was described by Nonoy Marcelo as a ludicrous portrait of the Filipino pathetically trying but barely succeeding in keeping up with his American mentors. A. The Junior Duly B. Chiquiting Gubat C. Kenkoy D. Piching E. Maching 
Philip. D. Pichi. Incorrect. Nikos. Letter C. Kenkoy. Kenkoy can be considered the Philippines' first true pop icon, and his name in Filipino language mean, means a joker, jester, or a hilarious person. The answer is correct. K check. Professor Ricky. What marine organisms produce their own light through a biochemical process known as bioluminescence? A. Jellyfish. B. Sharks. C. Dolphins. D. Sea urchins. And E. Turtles. Philip. A. Jellyfish. Some species of this are capable of bioluminescence producing light through a chemical reaction within their cells. The correct answer is jellyfish. Okay, check. Nakaaho na sa negative si yes. Philip. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Lu. In geography, what is the largest country in the world by land area? Letter A. Nikos. Russia. I will just read the uh, choices. Letter A, China. Letter B, Russia. Letter C, Canada. Letter D, United States. And letter E, Brazil. The correct answer is Russia. K check. Back to Professor Mitzi. So the third question is, who was the colorblind national artist? A. Hernando Ocampo B. Cesar Legaspi C. Larry Alcala D. Fernando Amorsolo E. Carlos Botong Francisco His daughter, Celeste Legaspi when she was nine years old, narrated how, as a young nine-year-old, she would help her father identify colors in magazine clippings. He belonged to the so-called 13 moderns and later the neo-realists. The, the answer is Cesar Ligaspi. Thank you very much, Prof. Mitzi. Prof. Ricky. In the world of atoms, there's a subatomic particle with a neutral charge. What is the name of this mysterious particle? A. Proton B. Electron C. Neutron Philip, letter C. Neutron Neutrons are subatomic particles with no electrical charge residing in the nucleus of an atom along with protons. K. Check Prof. Philippine geography naman Question number three, what is the newest province in the Philippines? Founded on September 17, 2022. Letter A, Samuanga Sibugay. Letter B, Davao Occidental. Letter C, Maguindanao del Norte. Letter D, Dinagat Islands. Letter E, Davao de Oro. The correct answer is C, Maguindanao del Norte. And for our final round of questions from our experts, Prof. Mitzi. The last question is, hailed as the father of Philippine arts, who is the Filipino sculptor and professor of the University of the Philippines, designated as a national artist of the Philippines for sculpture in 1973? three years before his death. A. Eduardo Castrillo B. Ramon Orlina C. Napoleon Abueva D. Guillermo Tolentino E. Claude Tayag Nikos, letter D, Guillermo Tolentino. Guillermo Tolentino was hailed the father of Philippine arts. He sculpted the University of the Philippines most recognizable emblem, the UP Oblation, as well as the Bonifacio Monument in Caloocan City. 
the answer is correct. K check. Rafiki. Beneath the Earth's crust lies a layer of molten rock in constant motion. What is the name of this dynamic layer? A. Mantle B. Lithosphere C. Astenosphere D. Outer core and E. Inner core Philip A. Mantle Mali Aya B. Lithosphere Mali Pao D. Outer core Mali Because letter C, asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is a semi-fluid layer in the upper mantle <laughs> responsible for the movement of tectonic plates. A check. <laughs> Parang ayo na nga sana ang sumagot ni Nikos. <laughs> but K check pa rin. And for our last and ultimate question for this round, Prof. Lu. World geography naman tayo. How many countries are there in the United Kingdom? Letter A, 2. Letter B, 3. Letter C, 4. Letter D, 5. Letter E, 6. Nikos. Letter C, 4. That is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Nikos, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 280 points. So makakasama natin siya ulit this Friday when he competes with the other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thanks to Pao, Aya, and Philip for joining and to the members, of course, of our panel of experts, Prof. Bitsy, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lou. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I am Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check.